Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's React. I am Office Bloke Dave. I am Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Dan. Together we are all three of the Office Blokes. Yeah. Hi. Back together in a room again. There you go. Excellent. Yep, been for a bit of a pub lunch, a couple of us today, so if two of us look sleepy, then uh, <laughs> that will be why. <laughs> anyway. Wired. Louis C.K. jokes that are not for the faint-hearted. Love Louis. So this is it's just a compilation. Louis. Literally came up on the uh, on the <coughs> timeline. So there's no way of knowing if we've seen some. Of if them. we've seen some, if it's TikTok clips, if it's like we've got no context with this, right? right other than okay. it's Louis C.K. jokes. You just winged it. Not for the faint-hearted. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Some stuff of his before. It's pretty close he's, to the bone isn't it he's one of yeah. the best isn't he I think if he hadn't have been cancelled and caught up in all that scandal I think he'd be up most what people would class him he like <laughs> jacked, jacked right. off onto a house plant in front of someone didn't he or something house plant <laughs> I think he was um, How bizarre. but either way I think he'd be classed as like top three he's definitely up there I agree yeah. with you yeah. 100% mm, could be he's, I think he still is I think he still is but I just think in the wider world mm a lot of people maybe disregarded him because they I think a lot of people still be avoiding him to a certain Listen. extent do you, you think look at comment sections on some of his yeah, videos yeah, there's still people saying that he's like uh, me too in sort of people yeah. yeah but at the same time if you think about all the comedians that have done wrong if, yeah he's he's still not even in the top five nowhere yeah. near they've been none left would they yeah nowhere near let's do it then Louis CK jokes that are not for the faint hearted and I saw a Korean Jesus they had a Korean Jesus with the <laughs> Don't get mad. How else would I know? It's just the what Korean Jesus. Ooh, whatever. Whatever. I remember I was in a taxi, I think in New York, and it was the driver was Muslim, and there was a woman crossing in front of us, and he honked her because she went after the light had turned, and she gave him the finger, and he said to me, "Do you know in my country, <laughs> if a woman show you this finger?" I could get out, beat her to death, and if I drive by here a week later, she'd still just be laying there. <laughs> Jeez. Like nobody would even clean it up. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The truth is Jesus was black, but you don't see that often. Black Jesus. Hey man, get me the fuck down from here. Whatever. Right. <laughs> Airplane one time, and a married couple came on and they had been sat separately, there was some mistake. The woman, she's supposed to sit here, she comes up to me and she says, would you mind moving so I can sit with my husband? And he's behind her, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to help him. Well, what am I gonna say to his wife? Just, no, I won't move. So I just got off the plane, I didn't go on the trip. <laughs> and it took off and it hit the World Trade Center. So that was, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you ever uh, wow. feel? <laughs> oh my god I wonder when that one was filmed <laughs> that is such a Louis CK joke isn't it oh. I uh yeah that was uh that's exactly what wow. I like for Louis CK where have you gone with it Dave have you gone back to like next week it's me <laughs> I'm just putting me doing <laughs> an open mic night in it jokes like that when you just not expecting it whatsoever yeah, 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 you've already had the joke and then the real joke is behind yeah, it yeah. and that's like so, oh. someone asked me once to uh, to move on the plane right and she was fucking stretching over me like on, leaning on the seat and all that and she's talking to her sister I'm sat there just staring like that and I'm like oh my nah fuck it so I pressed the you know the bell for the stewardess I went can you fucking move her she's doing me head in and she went you need to go back to your seat she went will you swap with me now I'm in like seat 2A Right, right. On a long haul flight. Yeah, so you've got not, the leg room then. I'm, I'm in business class. Right, okay. And I said, "Where's your seat?" And she went, "39D." <laughs> I went, yeah, "Why don't you go and get 39C and see if she wants to come and swap with your sister?" <laughs> uh, you ever uh, feel like you're gonna fart and then instead you shit on your father's face? <laughs> <laughs> And everybody on the bus is like, hey, that's not appropriate. <laughs> and you're like, I thought it was going to be a fart. And they go, oh, all right, then. Because, <laughs> look, my mom just died. She just died. That's how it works. By the way, for you young people, here's how life goes. One of your parents is going to die. And the other one is just never going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? It's not the one you wanted. <laughs> nope. 
you know, people hate child molesters so much. They hate them worse than murderers or anybody else. Right, <laughs> right, right. So getting caught child molesting is just, that's the end. That's the worst. It's really the end of your life in every way. Your that's friends right. are gone. Whatever you had is gone. <laughs> yeah. Right? So right. Uh, that's why a lot of kids that get molested get killed. Because it's like once you molest, whatever got you to the moment where you molested a kid. Right. Once you hit that moment, you're like, I can't let this kid go now because I'm fucked if this kid goes home and tells anybody. So you kill the kid. Right. So the bit was that if we could if we could hate child molesting a little less, <laughs> we might, uh, uh, might yeah, we might get some kids back. Wow, that is a brilliant thought. If somebody could that go is- <laughs> say to themselves, "All right, I molest," you know, somebody could call wow. you and go, "Hey, I molested your kid. You want him back after soccer? Do you want me to drop him off at this game? <laughs> okay. you know, does he have any allergies I should know about?" I, that what I just said is true. Right. That if we hated child molesters less, less children would die. Right. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't, you don't know where to go. I don't know what to do with it. I can't you make came any to the right place today. Yeah. yeah, this is the place to air those kinds yeah. of thoughts. You know, like when you were in school. Did you ever have when you were in school when you were a kid like fantasies about your parents dying so that you'd be really special in school? Like if your parents got killed, you'd go to school and they'd make an announcement: Joey's parents died today. So everybody and all the cute girls would come up and go, "Are you okay?" and stuff like that, which would never happen. They just walk up and you go, I'm still not going to fuck you, you faggot. (laughs) (laughs) That's what would have happened. And that would have even, I would have jerked off to that and had a better time. (laughs) 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 To me, some, some Catholics believe that contraception is murder. They think if you wear a condom, if you stop a sperm from getting to an egg, you killed a possible baby. By that logic, I could say that any woman that won't fuck me is a murderer. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a bunch of murdering bitches out there. <laughs> well, FX um, uh, took my series off. I don't know why. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so weird. It was really successful. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just made an arbitrary decision. That's weird. To just... I mean, I was baffled. I yes. was like, guys, why? We're like, it's just the feeling we yeah, have. I was like, that's weird, guys. Probably like, like a so. new CEO. They always do shit like that. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't one, but maybe it's something like that. Like 9-11, you had to end the sorrow. And the anger and the and the rage and the sadness, you had to go, dude, fucking bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> One of my favorite stories about it was uh, there was a documentary about it on PBS after, and they talked, uh, you know, they tried once before with the, with the truck bomb. So they uh, interviewed a, a marshal, a federal marshal, who mm-hmm. escorted one of the perpetrators of that first bombing to his trial. Mm. in Manhattan Mm. and they had him in a helicopter and they're flying to the courthouse so he's next to the prisoner and they're flying right next to the World Trade Center my god this guy and the the federal guy the fed marshal is just a cop he says I pointed at the buildings and I said you didn't get him did you and the guy just coldly said we'll get him wow Wow. they did those buildings are no longer there (laughs) yes they did they're no longer there Tuna, pick out the dolphins, right? <laughs> People talk about like, don't eat dolphins when they're in the tuna. Pick out the dolphins, right? <laughs> <laughs> gotta pick it out, like the raisins. <laughs> um, but and, like, you ever look at, you ever go to shop for tuna and like it says dolphin safe and you kind of go like, yeah, but like somehow you think it's not going to be as good. Like, <laughs> I want to do the right thing, but it's probably kind of bland without the <laughs> dolphin. But here's the thing, like why not kill and eat a dolphin? Why not? Oh, because, why well, not? I don't fucking get it. If, <laughs> if you're a tuna... Fuck you, we're eating you. (laughs) So I don't really see the difference. And I think it's wrong to eat tuna and dolphin and cows and everything. But I eat them. I eat them all. Because I don't care that it's wrong. I totally think it's terrible, but that's not important to me that it's terrible. (laughs) So what if it's wrong? It tastes good. And I like the way it feels when I eat it, so fuck it. 
but I'm not going to pretend I'm doing something that's okay just because it doesn't think or something. So when I think about that, I think, yeah, so people die. What's the big deal? They're dead, and some of them were might have been assholes. You don't know. <laughs> I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right. Right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. Don't, don't tell the band that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because you can't. You get this right. You can't take people's like historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like white people are always like, "Come on, it wasn't us." Like they want black people to forget <laughs> everything. Like every year, white people add a hundred years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. <laughs> it was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently <laughs> you could buy a guy. That's right. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. <laughs> like it just... Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh, yeah, it just ended like a clean... <laughs> Where you don't have to wipe, just boom, <laughs> and then it's just been parades and presents yeah, ever yeah, since. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair. They remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we yeah. stuff that we went sure, through sure. that that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away, that was really hard. <laughs> 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 <We're> still... <laughs> so it's pretty. Easy. <laughs> Oh my god. He always finds a good angle, don't they? Uh, he's brutal, really isn't he? He's the king oh, of the man. misdirect. Yeah, he is. yeah he's brutal. Hey. He's Very sick guy. That's, a, that's him at his best doing things like that, isn't it? Absolutely. Being yeah. funny, but then coming back to something again. He's brutal, though. Really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, proper, yeah. he's proper right on the edge. Yeah. The way, the way yeah. he does it. He's got, he must have that. a sick mind thinking of some of these things, though. I mean. <laughs> you think about it, but it is Pete, his own TV show, it loads of Hollywood movies he was starring mm. in. Stand up, obviously massive all around the world. He's like he was everywhere, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And then cancellation. He's still doing well. He still sells loads of tickets. Mm. I think he puts out his specials himself on his website, so yeah. he still does great. Yeah. But he was actually a superstar. Wasn't yeah, he was. He? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And his 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 uh, TV show, Louis, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we've not reacted it. to it for ages. Loved actually, it, have we? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Nice. But Hope yeah, you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.